what's going on guys as you guys can see we didn't take very long between ending the main game and starting the dlc that's mainly because i've been enjoying this game so freaking much that i definitely have to jump into the dlc like immediately after i've completed the main campaign of the game of course this is the dlc for horizon zero dawn called frozen wilds as you can see in the top left corner the first mission is into the frozen wilds which is what we're going to be doing here in this video i'm super super stoked and excited to be able to jump into this dlc mainly because as i stated before i've been absolutely awestruck by this game completely this game is so fantastic i loved every minute that i've spent so far and it's gonna be one of those bittersweet t uh, situations when I complete the DLC because there really isn't that much more content to do after I do that and I basically have to wait until you know Forbidden West comes out which I'm super super excited for that game now guys if you guys are excited for this series this little mini DLC series do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's jump right into this DLC all right well let's go over here because i'm tired of hearing the chickens already may the sun reward her for saving i mean i guess i could always just go into the menu right so damn we have to go all the way over here we, we have we have a long way to go we still have a few campfires that we haven't discovered either yeah we gotta go super far explore the cut this is yeah the grave horde i gotta figure out how to get there so whoops let's go ahead and fast travel here and then we'll make the determination on where exactly where we have to go if you guys didn't already know um i am basically just continuing on with horizon zero dawn on the ps5 uh so it should be pretty you know good i haven't had any problems with the game at all like period nothing at all the only minor issue i suppose is that the loading for this game is ridiculous as you guys can see here so there's that but Regardless of the situation, this game is so fantastic. I don't even care about the loading screens because I just kind of, I just kind of want to play the game. That's how great this guy game is. If you guys haven't played it, by the way, the pass that Tora was talking about, the nuke territory just above. Uh, sure. If you guys haven't played this game, I highly, highly recommend it. So we gotta definitely go up here. It looks like. Aloy is such a fantastic character too, man. I really, really enjoy every minute of this game. Whoa. All, all this is new, isn't it? I don't know. I don't remember all this blue stuff. Oh, well. It's definitely different. I'd have to leave something else behind. What is it that I left behind? Uh, metal burn? <clears throat> sure. I already have 50 out of 50 anyway, so... Good, man. Something I didn't do is check out, like, any uh, stores or anything. So, wait, hold on. It looks like I have to go that way, so got it. Tracking. Yeah, so I'm going into what this pretty ill-prepared. leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides the useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. <laughs> I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? What? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. <laughs> Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, Mm, touchy. So, I've already beaten the main campaign. Um, however, there it, it did kind of go back to the mission. Uh, right before the like the final missions of whatever of the game or whatever. It, like, so I'm gonna be able to play that. You know, the ending of the game all over again after I'm done with the DLC too. Uh, not that not that I'm going to. It's just an option like it kind of reset it back to right before the game completed why does it look uh oh it looks different demonic scorcher 
Should I even attack it? If I do, it's gonna be with something like this, though. Let's go. Oh god. Yep. I juked a little too early. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay, this thing is... Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh god, okay, I think I might have picked a fight with the wrong thing. Oh! Yeah. Let's not do that again. That was, uh... What the hell? <laughs> that was ridiculous, bro. This is gonna... We're gonna have a hard time in this, aren't we? Oh, man, I... Okay, at least I don't have to climb everything all over again. Fire resistant potion. Gee, I wonder why they gave me this. this one's a new predator. I see the heat coming off it. Let's go ahead and do whatever we can with this. I'm not gonna fight him, I'm just gonna wait for him to pass. Why is he weak though? Demonic scorcher. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty dope though. Wait, do I have to follow him? Oh, this is gonna end very badly. Oh, I'm I'm a little nervous. I hope he doesn't come back. Where is he? I legit don't know where he went. Did he go back down there? I think he's just... Okay, yeah, he's just making... He's just doing loops. But if those are the main enemies of this DLC, I'm gonna have a hard time, man. I'm gonna have a really hard time. Or maybe I should change my bow. That's probably something else I need to do. Something I do need, though. I need to buy some blaze like a lot of blaze uh oh he's 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 a but new guard okay that's a welcome i guess what does that mean though so they're not they're not going to be scared right hey look the frozen wilds we're here Nice. <laughs> you sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? No. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. They're talking trash already. I don't think I'm very much welcome here. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. They're low-key pretty rude, dude. That looks sick, yo. Smoke rising from the mountain. The village too. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Uh, Set up and discover Song's Edge. It's a pretty cool name, actually. I like it a lot. Hey, this little town is cool. I like it. Investigate the source of the smoke. Do I really have to run all the way over the... Ooh, checkpoint. We're definitely lighting that. Oh, they're having a meeting. This is kind of reminiscent on how the main game started. <clears throat> Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. So he's Most a traitor? Most of the time, the Banuk burned their dead. 
Not today. Why not today? Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty. Got you. Oh, makes the sense. Best warriors lost, so they're getting a different kind of send down. We really gotta change her clothes. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Are they gonna, they're not gonna attack, are they? That was that was kind of that was kind of beautiful in their own way Grasp your grief my hunters our attack and kill it For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for Falling with their spears striking steel their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the demon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage! My spear! <laughs> All blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. Damon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh. Aloy. Close! Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea. Spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone <clears throat> with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Uh, Aritok? Oh, well, that's the chief, right? Is Aritok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. <laughs> but when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade route, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. Uh, what, uh, what's a Warwick? What are these Warwicks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Warwicks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory. Banur 
It's just a bunch of the biggest, oldest wearings. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed, and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. Um, I don't think that helps very much. Uh, Aurea? <laughs> I don't know what this says. And Aurea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not gonna talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. <laughs> but Rhea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. That's interesting. Uh, tell me about the Banuke. What is it about the Banuke you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Don't well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuke with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Uh, the daemon? I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's <laughs> something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine. Like no one seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. So mm -hmm. is she the? Tell me more about we should be on more Man, I really might be worth a shot. So I'm assuming she is the Aloy mm -hmm. of this tribe. Let's go ahead and activate whatever quest is here. We're probably gonna at least for a while until we hit like a a little like a hard spot we're probably gonna sad, stick to the main quest for now i heard you mention a flood yes a sudden deluge without rain or melt to explain it i'm lao lai the drummer of deep din or at least i was until it disappeared under the waters deep din what's that a hollow carved out by the old ones a chamber a basin and a musical instrument all at once my life my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. Um, musical instrument? So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. She looks like she loves During it. War, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Aww. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. Aww. Uh, the sun deluge? So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. Huh. So where is this place? A flood without rain. That is strange. Very. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like. But I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? So, uh, I kind of feel bad for her, to be honest. Okay, is there any, uh, whoops. 
Well, first things first, let's check out this trader. Maybe there's like new armors or any. <gasps> 12 blue gleams? 14, 16? This is. Okay, these are basically just Banuke variants of what I have now. Champion bow. That sounds sick, though. That sounds sick. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Uh, this bow, 13 and 38. Dude, this is so much better than my, than my, than my bow. Hey, that's actually really cool. And I like that. Okay. Oh my god. Yes, I think this is going to be my... I think this is going to be my new one. Uh, for Stitched for Stealth. This is pretty cool, though. I need 18 Blue Gleam for that, dude. Blue Gleam better be very common. Because I need 18, 16, 14... Plus well, the weapons, it's going to, it's gonna be bad. So I'm hoping blue gleam is very common. Unless, that's what these are. I don't know. I honestly don't know what blue gleam is. What does this guy want? Uh, optional talk to our attack. Is that who this is? Yes. Hey, what's up, bro? I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander. I suppose you wish to speak. Yep. Uh. Uh. I mean, what do I want to. Uh. The Orea. Orea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an outlander's. Uh, the daemon? This daemon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Um, tell me about this place. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life for all the new who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Uh, well, I mean, I probably should have asked this first, but you're Werax. Did your Werax come from this place? Oh, you're, yeah. No. He rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. The expedition to Thunder's Drum? You're set on going back to the mountain? I put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. So pride then. Later. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. <laughs> Prefer deeds to words. Right. He's definitely very prideful. So if I Naltuk, at least he's not too far. He's only 380 away. Oh, okay. I want to learn more about how this... Oh, it just not. affects the machines. I've got to find Maria. Yes. That, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. Outland. Look at this wait, water. Wait a moment. Stay safe if you can. What? That is like both beautiful and disturbing at the same time. I hope they don't drink out of that. Hey, what's up, man? May I have a moment? That weapon of yours, Outlander. That spear. I can see the blue light upon it. This? 
It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. <laughs> More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the oh. help of the old ones. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. <laughs> okay. That literally doesn't tell me anything. At least we're getting some new quests to do. Okay, well, let's go find the Nalta. Not gonna lie, I have a hard time reading these names. Let's go. Slide away. I'll be taking these sticks. Wait, what does that mean? Campfire discovered? Let's look up here, actually. There might be a quest. What is this, a little outpost? The Sun King doesn't mean he's any less guilty. He's in They're talking about the Sun King. Any work done under the sun warms you the night. Wait, these are Karja? That's cool. Doesn't appear to be any quests here, though. We're definitely almost there. So now took the Shaman's Path. This is going to be a very interesting DLC, I can already tell. Now nah, we're just a hundred paces away. Uh oh. Gotta be careful. I haven't found a lot of medicinal, you know, plant plants or anything. That must be Naltuk looking out at that. What is that thing? It looks like it's That looks cool. Naltuk? Who are you? Rude. How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. His and hat's cool. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. <clears throat> rallies the machines, even repairs them. What? Daemon's work? Aratok said this daemon was... frenzying machines. Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. So, so that, so they get stronger then. I, that's probably why that one monster we fought at the beginning was pretty tough. Uh, where did Aurea go? Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. You mean I'm not getting the answers I need? There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Well, whose is it? So let's stop uh, the spread. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> but I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Okay. So I gotta destroy or override the tower? Can I override it? I wanna find a use for you. I wanna try to override. I wanna try to override it. I 
But I gotta be careful. Come on, let's go. Oh no. Let's try not to get caught here. Come on. Okay then, let's see if this thing can work for me. Wait, hold on, what's going on? Is it working? Okay. Wait, it did something to the other machines. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Let's... Let's try to draw him over here. Come here, chicken. Come here, chicken. Come on. Get away. Hi-ya! Got him. I am pretty sure I'm gonna die if I don't move. Oh, uh, well. I guess it's kind of a good thing. Alright, let's 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 do that again. Oh, dude, you're... Come here. Oh. This could be bad. Come on. Ah. Get away from me! Come on, buddy. And power punch. That's all you got? Here, have that. Come on, die. That was easy. Legit, I was... Did I pick up some blaze? No. I need to buy some blaze. So this thing is overridden, so it's it's basically mine now? I don't know. Let's go talk to the homeboy then. I'm sure he's going to be awestruck and be like, Wow, you did it. You are some sort of a deity like the... We should speak. Yeah, I know we should speak, bro. Just give me a second. He scared me. I thought, for some reason, I thought he was over here. Hey, what's up? Let's talk now. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains. The ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine. A great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far. You should too. You'll have earned it. Thank you. Uh, blue gleam. This is definitely something I want to know about. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal. That builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Uh, yes. You're Aurea's apprentice? Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout. A speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example. I really like his headdress. I, I owe her that much. She took a chance on me. An aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Uh, were you at Thunder's Drum? Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though. So she bid me wait. When Aurea and the Chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. Okay, good to know. 
So at this point, the well just progressed. The shaman's path. How do I cross this shaman's path? With, With your the feet. ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. I feel like she's probably like the Banuk version right. of Aloy. To find this shaman's path. Wait, how far is this? Oh, it's not too far. Oh wait, whoa. A secret shard? Oh, this is the... This is the... Yeah, the Aaron. Dang, that is... That is very far. Um... So luckily... What is this one? Waterlogged. Okay. Well, luckily, none of that is too far. It's just 500 paces. I just hope I don't see any of the... The beasts around here. The demons, because those things are notorious. Ooh, I want... Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Ooh, I want. Never know when I might need these. Oh, no, I agree. Oh, now we're starting to get, to get somewhere, man. There's a ton of them here. Look at this. I'm going to have three full in a second. Is this blue gleam right here? No, I don't know. I really want to see what blue gleam looks like. First of all, blue's my favorite color, so I kind of, kind of really like that sound. Campfire discover. Ooh, it's a, a snap maw or whatever. A demonic snap maw. I don't want to fight it. Is this the weak to fire? It is. I don't want to get into it though until I find. These mountains must be the ice rasps. Blaze. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Oh, that gave me a lot. What is it called? Free? Oh no, not this. Whatever it was that I picked up a second ago, that thing gave me a lot of medicine. Hey, trader? Hey, what's up, trader? Uh, resources. Please have some blaze. Uh, item doesn't fit? Hold on. That's what I need to... Hold on, let me see. Uh, let's go through the crafting menu. Ammo. Uh. Hunter bow. Fire arrow. Yeah, blaze. I definitely need a lot of blaze. So why doesn't it fit exactly? Right, let's get rid of something then. I guess we'll get rid of the meat. And then I should be able to buy now, hopefully. I can always just hunt. There we go. I need to buy as much as I possibly can. I don't care how much money it costs. Okay, I do care how much money it costs, actually. Because I still got to make other arrows. So we'll just leave it like that. Thank you, sir, for your time. Okay, this is going to be bad. I still need a ton of blaze. I hope it's pretty common up here, man. Also, I need to start looting as much as possible because I need all the shards I can get to. Am I going the right way? What's going on right now? I'm so confused. Oh, okay, there was like a... A way up. Whoa, look, I just realized this. this is a gigantic wall over there. That's really cool. I'm not gonna lie. That only speaks volumes of how freaking epic this place is gonna be. How 
far up do we have to go? I don't know. It feels like forever, though. Oh, we got some climbing to do now. Let me up. I got some business to take care of. I like this bridge. I would still be scared to walk on it, though, to be honest. These will keep. Yes. Ooh. Is that... Is that the blue gleam that they were talking about? Can I take it? I need a lot of it. Like a lot of it. The shaman's path must be this must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. So what does that mean? 